note, Coral Canyon Road, Solstice Canyon is here. Solstice is uh, one of the awesomest hiking spots in Southern California. It's just, a, it's a beautiful area, for one thing. My backpack is falling weirdly off. It's like rotating on my shoulder. Ow, I should bit myself. I'm having a hard time with this vlogging thing right now. So yeah, Solstice Canyon is a wonderful hiking spot. Uh, it's it's beautiful, it's picturesque, it's full of nature, but it also was a site of early settlement. Uh, s some settlers who came out here in the, in the late 1800s built cottages up there. Uh, I forget the names of the guys, but uh, there was a guy who went out there and built a, a, a little cottage out of stone and mortar. And it's, it, it's a pretty, it was a, I mean, for its time, it must have been a really nice house. You can still see the foundations of it. It, it burned in uh, the early 1900s, I think. It burned down, but you can still see the, all the walls and the foundation. It's like, it's a really, it looked like a pretty cool place to live. And, uh... Yeah, it burned. <laughs> so you can still go out and see it. It's really cool. The like the original road is there. You can. It, it's an old dirt road, so now it's a hiking trail. You can hike out and see the ruins. And then if you hike another, I don't know, three quarters of a mile or a mile beyond that, there's a bigger site where I guess some people had gone further up the canyon and they built like a, a full-on mansion up in the canyon and it's it's really it's just beautiful and they've got little placards up there to show what it looked like when it was you know still there they've got some uh, concept sketches of it and everything else so it's it's a really cool area it's just really it's beautiful and you can see the ruins of the buildings are still there both of them ended up burning but it's one of it's maybe my favorite spot to go hiking and uh, bring some picnic stuff, you know, bring maybe bring some wine with you, have some wine for lunch and chill out there. And then there are other, you know, there's a waterfall, like it's just, there's so much stuff there, it's cool. They, there's a, a dam because the guy, I guess the guys who built it built a dam so that they could have water and control the flow of the lake, the, the little river and stuff. It's, it's really cool. And then there's more camping trails that spur off from the, the site of the mansion. So it's all just, it's really, it's a neat area. And I highly recommend it. If you like hiking and you're in the LA area, go check it out. Nevada! Coming up on Canaan Doom Road. If you take this road up from PCH, I'm on PCH right now. If you take this road up, uh, I forget exactly how far it is. It's like seven or eight miles. If you take it up, then you'll come to Mulholland Highway. And if you turn right on Mulholland Highway, that's actually where um, the snake is, the famous Mulholland Highway section of road that's called the snake. Uh, by the time this video goes up, I should already have posted my video on the snake. From the Riding with Tom meetup. Oh shit, how long has my turn signal been on? God damn it, I hate that shit. I hate forgetting my turn signal on. How embarrassing. Has it been on for like a half an hour? I could not have asked for better weather. I really couldn't. Uh, cops are out in force today. In force. I've done that before too, the bicycle touring. And I've done it out here on PCH too. It's, it's a different kind of fun. It's a lot more strenuous, a lot more difficult, obviously, because you've got to bring your own crap with you. So you've got like this 30, 40 pound pack. And well, I did it all wrong, so 
ended up putting a lot of stuff in a backpack and I ended up carrying probably 20, 25 pounds worth of shit on my back on a 120 mile round trip bicycle ride. So that was stupid. And especially in this area, there are a lot of hills. You can't get anywhere without riding up and down a bunch of reasonably difficult hills. So here I am with 25 pounds worth of crap on my back, another 20 pounds worth of crap on the rack of my bike, going up and down hills, never tried anything like it before. We get to the campground and actually, despite all the crap I had brought, none of what I brought was a tent. Actually, nobody brought tents. What we ended up doing was everyone just laid a tarp on the ground. Oh, here's Decker Canyon Road. I'll briefly mention this. Decker Canyon Road is a terrifying road. It's very popular. A lot of people really love it. But it's, uh, yeah, it's popular for people to cruise, drive aggressively on, and uh, it's very dangerous. There's a lot of very tight corners, and there's also a lot of debris. There's constantly debris because it's built into a mountain that's made of sandstone or limestone or some crap that just like is constantly crumbling all year round. So yeah, that, that first time we ended up just throwing a tarp on the ground, sleeping on, you know, in sleeping bags on the tarp with another tarp like strung over us in a like hanging from a tree kind of. So that, that tarp kept like the, the moisture off of us at the night, but it was still absolutely freezing cold. And it sucked getting there. And then it sucked worse coming back because we started in Los Angeles and we rode our bikes pretty much downhill to the beach. After we were tired and spent a, a pretty rough night at the campground, we had to ride our bikes back up in LA. So it was a pretty brutal trip. And I never tried it again since. Doing it on a motorcycle is adventure enough for me, but I don't think I need to do it on bicycles anymore. Oh shoot, no. well, I don't even know what I want to do. Yeah, I do. I know what I want to do. Uh, let's see how terrible the surface is here in this parking area, where no alcohol is allowed. The surface is surprisingly maybe okay. This is the site of Neptune's Net, which is a actually well they're not open right now, but normally is a, a, a very popular hangout for motorcyclists. This place on like a Saturday or Sunday will have motorcycles parked like absolutely packed, like just lining the entire street, both sides all the way up and down PCH, maybe for like 100, 200 yards, just motorcycles, motorcycles, motorcycles. And there'll be like an hour long wait to get in there. Really popular spot. I came out here with my dad one time. Tired hands, not used to riding, it's been a while. It's holding up well. Glad it's in good enough condition for my, uh, my dad to be riding it and enjoying it with me and go out and do a fun father-son ride. That was fun. Anyway, stop here for a snack and a picture.